Fear not, for I am Captain Britain, and today I give a lecture on just why we're in great peril once again as a nation. And the forthcoming election, we only have time to save unless we want to see this country go further down the rabbit hole of dumb. I am not overly impressed with the Conservatives, but neither am I overly appalled. I still live in peace. I have my beautiful home. I am not under attack. The neighbours are mostly cordial. Everything works in tandem. Multi-ethnicity is alive and vibrant here. And it's not something I oppose to. Okay? Now that's one thing. Now the other is that in this coming election, every vote for the Tories, if you generally like the status quo and the way things are going, if you're appreciative and you don't want to kill the golden goose because you have gratitude at what we're up against as a people facing the world, right? We're being polarised by outside forces, breaking us apart into a multiple schism in chamber. Camelot. That was quite hard to say, I do apologise for that, because it's been a long few days, busting my balls at the binary coalface, trying to do enough work to ensure the kingdom remains solid, controlled, royal and under monar monarchic principles, inherent for ages, ions, years, decades, centuries, millennia even, in the goodness of the crown, which is a noble boon to this country's traditions, welfare, importance and standing in the global sphere. And you may be a, an anti-royalist and an anti-monarchist and an anarchist and a communist or a fascist, but you're a bit grisly and a bit ill thought through at just how many blessings this life doth afford us in every sacred breath from the Lord above. And it is quite secret and sacred, the knowledge of God. Because when you do know there's a God, due to X, Y and Z miracles in the supernatural realm occurring after prayer usually, although sometimes things can happen that you're not expecting that prove there is a supernatural force, then it would be most meritable of me to suggest to Conservatives at the 11th hour that we advise the policy makers to tip the balance towards favourability towards cannabis smokers. And then, when you vote on July the 4th, Independence Day in America, as you no doubt know, then each vote for Tories will be like four votes in your hand in one go. And I'll tell you why. One, it'll be a vote for the Tories. Two, it'll take away a vote from Remain, the quasi-fascist, the much more racist than Tories generally, anyone, basically. So, so, so it's one out of their camp and one into the Tory camp. So that's like two votes, right? But also, it's one out of the Labour camp, which we, no one wants a strong majority of whatever that's going to involve. I mean, too much change. People will say, oh, we want change, we want change. And then they get it and they don't like it. It's just round and round, little nice circles you go, right? The point is, there's a fourth vote it'll be a taking away from. It'll take one away from Islam. Now, if we polarise and break apart as a collective indigenous community generally within the traditional two-party political system, and we fragment into a weakened government, then that won't be good either. And once again, we will have a Brexit scenario where, well, I went to the polls and I voted and I got what I voted for and it's shit. Right? So love your enemy. If you like anything about the modern world, and there's lots to like, science, science alone and technology, the achievements in both are monumental. We have never been as intelligent as a human race on the cutting edge of space-time as we are these days. Do you understand? We we've, we've might have discovered the nucleus of the galaxy, as someone called it online the other day. Deep in space, using, you know, because of collective, intelligent, 
brilliant societies around the world generating these incredible leap forwards in human understanding. We have loads that are almost coming out daily. It, the list is too long to list of just how many breakthroughs and discoveries we're making. And I even made my own one. I have even discovered my own one, which I'll, I'll save for another film. But the point is, is that so, you know, if you don't, it, it, it's, it's, a, it's a quadruple Hobson's choice, this selection. A Hobson's choice is when you have two options available and neither are really very good, okay? And yet we've got four major options now available. And neither of them are really any good, right? So this is where appreciation and gratitude and understanding the complexities of government, the real issues at stake for people, beyond that of cynical, abhorrent morons like Just Stop Oil defacing Stonehenge recently. I mean, Jesus, just stop that crap, right? Boils my blood their ignorance. And they're shallow thinking. Anyway, TV and film, well, not so much film at the moment because of COVID, but, you know, there's a lot of goodness going on in technology and visual arts and, and exciting things bubbling around the world in harmony and union with the love of life under God, for want of terms. So remember, one vote for Tory is a quadruple vote for taking away power from the threat, okay? And people running off after these charlatan politicians and delusional fancies that a new government is going to make all the problems better are just cow cuckoo land central, right? Especially conspiracy theorists where half the world and its mother on cocaine out there think we didn't land on the moon, well, Americans didn't land on the moon, uh, the world is flat, COVID and vaccine was somehow some preordained genocidal plot by the Illuminati or some shit, right? It's just, it's just awful to be dealing with these people. So we've got to consolidate the intellect. And I'm afraid to say, at this juncture, we're left with, the, of all the prongs, of the quadruple Hobson's choice, only, no, let's not make it appear rude, only Toryism is going to maintain some semblance of the luxury and beauty and peace and life and welfare and luxury we're accustomed to en masse. It's much better under the rule right now than you're giving it credit for. And I'm not saying this because I'm rich. You've probably got, probably got more money than me. So let's just appreciate our handsome vectors and what we have achieved here today. And throughout Brexit, suffering this palpable nonsense thanks to one man's ego fucking mania. It reminded me of a German I once remember reading about. Funny little fucker. Looked like Charlie Chaplin, but not as amusing. Farage looks like a, a boiled raisin. <laughs>